how to create attraction naturally with absolutely no mind games using only the law of assumption. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. Today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful Eagle. And we are always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. Would you like to join us up in the sky? Hi flyers, visit our website at law of attraction solutions.com. And we have all kinds of free resources there for you. And it's all designed to help you get what you want using the law of attraction, the law of assumption, uh, the law of vibration, positive thinking. It's all there for you. Law of attraction solutions.com. Get your free ebook, your free audio program, sign up for your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching law of attraction solutions.com. So high flyers, people ask me all the time, well, Robert, I, I would like to learn how to build up attraction. Sometimes it's, it's with a specific person. Sometimes you just want to have more attraction period with whomever you are spending time with, uh, on an intimate basis. So I think attraction is important. I think attraction is a good thing. And there are certain things you can do to build attraction in your life that go beyond shining your shoes and combing your hair. Uh, look at, we don't need any mind games. We don't need any gaslighting. We don't need toxic relationships. What we need is real honesty, real vibration to vibration, energy connection. And that's what this video is about helping you get that vibration to vibration, energy connection. I think the first thing is you need to really know what kind of energy, what kind of vibration, what kind of dynamics do you, do you want to see in a relationship? Do you want to see in a dating partner? Uh, do you want to see in a future wife or husband? What kind of dynamics do you want to see? And you need to write it down. You need to be clear. You see, when you're not clear, then you accept pretty much anything. Anything's possible. And that doesn't allow you to focus in to get what you really desire and to be your best for the person that you do desire. So you need to see it, you need to feel it and you need to expect it. In other words, if you're dating someone and they constantly show up late, if you start seeing them show up early, seeing them show up on time, believing it and expecting it without telling them, without getting negative, without mind games, guess what? Oftentimes they'll start showing up on time or even early because you've created that vibrational pathway, that alignment, and it becomes easy for them to be more responsive to your needs. So high flyers, knowing what you want is essential. The more focused you are, the more focused in here, you are on the kinds of people that you desire to spend time with the kind of person you desire to have a relationship with the greater your inner power, your inner power literally expands high flyers because you're focused Unfocused people have weak inner power. Focused people have an expansive inner power. And that makes them more attractive and that makes them more magnetic. And that helps you have a better, closer, more dynamic relationship with the person you want. Now, listen, let, before we get crazy on this, it's all the law of assumption. You assume that you're going to be dating or spending time with, or in a relationship with the kind of person you desire. You assume that you have the confidence you need. You assume you have the power necessary. You assume you have the magnetism. And when you assume it, it's yours. 
Well, a lot of people get into futurizing and they futurize almost from day one. So number two is focus on the moment. Have fun. I have a client right now. All he wants to know is when he should ask her to do this, when she should do that, why she's canceling out on this. And I've explained to him, look, if the two of you have fun repetitively, it becomes an anchor. Every time you have a fun experience, fun experiences, you want to repeat. So every time you have a fun experience and it's exciting and enjoyable, you want to do it again. And that's what they call stacking anchors. So if you have one, two, three, four, ten fun experiences without a lot of futurizing, without a lot of game playing, just enjoying each other for the moment. When you can do that, you can build depth in the relationship. You can build emotional connection in the relationship. And how do you do it? You assume law of assumption that you're going to have fun, that you're going to have a great afternoon, a great evening, a great time. And because you assume it, you will have it and your partner will have it because you've assumed that your partner will have a great time as well. And that's all you're focused on is having a great time. I, it just goes so far into building a relationship. Fun. F U N. Also high flyers, when you're focusing on really having a good time, not futurizing, not living in your past, not living in your pain, not living in your ex, not living in your fears and doubts, but just really enjoying the experience. You begin to rise to your highest version. And guess what? You take your partner with you and the two of you rise to your highest version. So I had a client, she called yesterday and talked to Rachel. She said, well, we had such a great time last night. It was a wonderful evening. And all I've wanted to do is call him all day and see what time he's going to be home and when we can get together. And I'm going, see, this is futurizing. This is living in fear. This is living in doubt. Experience the moment and then let it go. Experience the moment and then let it go and have a lot of those moments. Okay. Over and over and over again. And everything will start to make sense as the relationship unfolds. As your partner says, wow, I've never had such a great time. I've never felt so good with anyone else. They won't want to spend time with anyone else. They won't ever imagine that. And that's when you get into commitment and that's a good place. Well, high flyers. Number three is I, one I copied from the late Stephen Covey in the seven habits of highly effective people. He says, slow is fast when it comes to human dynamics and human relationships and human change slow is fast. Things do not happen instantly with human beings. They happen instantly with computers, but they don't happen instantly with human beings. So think in those terms of taking it slow, assume you're already where you want to be in the relationship. Law of assumption again, you know, instead of hoping to be there, wanting to be there, wishing to be there, assume you're already there. Have the kind of relationship and the kind of experiences that you believe you're capable of having. Assume it's there and live it. When you take things slowly, you reduce your feelings of anxiety. And anxiety, anxiety is what turns off the relationship. Think about it. You know, come on, don't back down on me. You know, you've met somebody and you got anxious. You kind of wanted him a little bit too much, too fast. And all of a sudden he backed away. Anx 
anxiousness. Hey, see, I'm anxious. Anxiousness. Okay. That's what happens. So slow is fast. Good things take time. Okay. One final thought on slow is fast. When you, from the outset, realize that slow is fast, it gives you confidence. You're not in a rush to close the deal. You're not in a rush to make things happen. You're not in a rush to take it to the next level because you know that if you keep having enjoyable experiences and doing fun things together, guess what? You'll get there. You will get there and you won't be anxious about it. It's just a matter of time. And why? Because you're practicing the law of assumption in your mind. You're already there. Now, number four is meaningful communication. And look, okay, where'd you go to high school? Oh, did you know Jim? Oh, you did know Jim. Jim was a cool guy, right? Right. Oh, yeah, I, I knew Sally too. That's not meaningful communication. Okay. Yes, you're going to do some of that in the beginning because you got to get to know each other, you know, that kind of thing. But you want to get beyond the lightweight communication. And you want to get into some serious communication and some serious banter. Talk about your dreams and your goals and your vision for your life. And then listen to them to talk about their dreams and listen closely and their goals and their vision for their life. Talk about things that matter to them and talk about things that matter to you. Because if something matters to you, you better listen to me on this one. If something matters to you a lot, but it doesn't matter to them, they're not the right person. Simple as that. So it's time to talk about dreams and goals and who you are and what you're about and what they're about and their dreams and goals and really listen and learn and share. This is a way of building deep, deep emotional communication. Look at, we're not just looking for small talk here. We're not just looking for chit chat and in the midst of all this deep communication, make sure you throw in some banter. Okay. Let's have some comedy. Let's lighten it up from time to time, but then let's get back to talking deep. Okay. I mean, that's how you build rapport, emotional rapport. Well, number five, I cannot emphasize enough. Some of you have watched my videos on eye contact. Eye contact is essential. Look, they say that the eyes are the gateway to the soul. Whether that's true or not, it seems that way. Dr. Lieberman in his book, How to Get Anyone to Do Anything, quoted some research where they found that people that were holding eye contact for two or three minutes or continuously in a conversation. In other words, they weren't staring at each other like this, but they were making regular eye contact and they were looking into each other's eyes tended to fall in love much easier. Look, you can't build rapport when somebody's looking over here talking. Okay. So look into the person's eyes. You'll know their responses and their reactions. They'll know yours, but you'll also establish this invisible line of communication what I call soul to soul communication. Isn't that where it's at? Of course it is. Okay. Assume that you are in a beautiful relationship. Assume that you have the relationship of a lifetime. Assume you're always going to have a great time when you go out and share time together. Assume that everything that you desire, you all ready have. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.